Just like a moment gets a direct conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his life, even at the time of death, he would have a direct conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> so you can imagine how beautiful that death is. This is the death of honor. This is the death of respect. The moment gets addressed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya ayyatuha nafsul mutma'inna. O content soul, you have lived a life so that your soul was content. It was not attached to the dunya. It had no love with the dunya. It has no connection with the dunya. Everything you did was for me, even though you were staying in dunya, but your heart was with the akhirah. You're always planning for the akhirah. So such a soul would be addressed. Ya ayyuha nafsul mutma'inna. So this address is for nafsul mutma'inna. And you know there are three types of nafs. One is nafs amara. Then there is nafs lawama. And the best of the nafs is nafs mutma'inna. So what is this nafs mutma'inna? Nafs mutma'inna is the satisfied soul. How do you become a satisfied soul? It needs a lot of training. It needs a lot of exercise. It needs a lot of struggle. Right? Just like you have targets in this dunya, you have to work hard days in and days out to reach that target. In the same way, we have a soul inside of us. And that soul is in this, sent in this dunya for a test. And that soul would be summoned again in the hereafter. But our job is to train it so that it becomes nafs mutma'inna. So what is nafs ammara? Nafs ammara is a soul like the soul of the kuffar and like the soul of the disobedient person. That it attracts the person towards disobedience and that person answers that as disobedience and he commits that disobedience and he does those sins. The nafsar ammara would say, hey, come on, do this. Come on, listen to this music. Hey, watch this movie. This is such a nice movie. And this, without any remorse, this person would follow the instruction of the nafs. This is called nafs nafsi ammara. There, there is no remorse for this person. This person says, okay, this is the time you should drink. It's a Friday night, you should drink. He's going to go out and drink, and he has no remorse. This is nafs ammara. That it would always call upon the sins and the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this person would easily commit those and answer to those attractions and then he would have no remorse, no regrets. This is nafs ammara. Then comes the nafs lawama. This word lawama is from lawmata laim, from lawm. Lawm means that it feels sorry, it feels bad that it has done something bad. So majority of the Muslims have nafs lawama. Majority of the Muslims have nafs lawama except for somebody who's in a very bad condition. He would have nafs ammara or the kuffar, they have nafs ammara. But nafs lawama, that majority of the Muslims, even though they do some sins, they disobey Allah, but at the end of the day, they regret. Why did I do this? It was wrong. I, whatever I did was wrong. You would, you would listen it from a lot of people. Because they are, they are admitting that whatever they have done is wrong. But they, they do not find a way to keep away from it. It, it is too much of struggle or it's too much, it too much of work from them to stay away from those desires. So this is nafs lawama. But if a person struggles, just like he struggles in other areas of his life, you know, you struggle in college and you get good grades. You struggle in the gym and you get good physique. In the same way, if you struggle and keep moving forward, one day this lafse lawama will turn into a nafse mutma'inna. And this nafse mutma'inna would be content so, meaning he is content that he has to be presented in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it content that it does not need any more, it does not get happy by the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, it comes in the hadith, but also it comes in the Quran that when the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would put the people of Jahannam into the Jahannam, right? It's last ruku of Surah Al-Zumar. So this Jahannam would ask, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ask the Jahannam, are you full? Halim talati? Are you full? And he would, the Jahannam would say, Halim mazid, is there more? 
Allah would put a lot of people in the Jahannam. And then he would, and Allah would ask him, are you full? Are you content? He would say, no, I'm not content. So it is the nature of the Jahannam. And it is the nature of all the sins. And it is the nature of all the sinful people. They're never happy. They're never content. Halim Talati, are you done with this? Is it the last song you're going to listen to? Is it the last movie you're going to watch? Is it the last cup of wine that you're going to take? Halim Talati. It's going to ask, Halmi Mazid, is there more? It is not enough for me. You make a sin, you want to do it again. If once, but if you learn to lower your gaze when it is appropriate for you to see, it would be hard for a few times and then eventually it would become your second nature. It would make, it would give you that satisfaction in your heart. This is nafs mutmainna. It is hard to lower the gaze at the inappropriate sites. But once you train yourself, it contents your heart. But every time, if you never train your nafs, every time it looks up at the inappropriate scenes, it will never be content. It wants to see more. The next day it's more. Next day is more. Next day is more. It never ends. Until the time comes to leave this dunya, but it's not content. That's why the nafs which is obedience is nafs mutmainna. And the nafs which is not obedient, it's always uh, nafs ammara. Now, the Jahannam is going to ask, Halim Talati, it's, not, it's always going to ask for, Halim, uh, is it more? Is there more? Halim Mazid, is there more? I'm ready to take more. Until Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that, he, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would put his blessed qadam, his foot into the Jahannam, and then he would say, qad, 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 I'm full, I'm full, enough, I'm content. So this is the qadam of Allah that, Allah, that would make the Jahannam content. It would fill up the space of the Jahannam. And Imam Rumi rahimahullah ta'ala says, this qadam of Allah is the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like when the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala falls on the mouth of the Jahannam, it becomes full, it becomes content. The same way when the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters the heart of the moment, it gets content, it gets full, it doesn't have any more desires.